Hey guys, this is ZG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to create an executable for your games in Blender so that you don't need Blender to play the game. And it's a really easy and fun thing to do, you know, because you can share your games with friends even though they don't have Blender. And, um, it's, um, not really something that's really out there. I remember when I was first starting out, I wanted to figure this out, and there were no tutorials on it, so now I'm doing it. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video, subscribe to my page if you like my stuff, and add me as a friend if you need a friend. Okay, so let's get started now. I've already made a really easy, simple game setup. Uh, I press P, and when you press up, it moves up. When you press down, it moves down. Just really simple, just to show you guys. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is press File, and then you want to look for something that says Save Game as Runtime. Okay click that and you want to uh, select where so I created um, a folder and uh, let's see where it is it's on my desktop uh, game that's uh, exe which it stands for executable save runtime um, yeah okay now save so now I'm gonna minimize this here's my folder here and here's a bunch of stuff that came in. Now, if I open this here, press execute. It says error because, well, my computer's in Spanish for some reason. I don't know why, but it says error. The it didn't find vcomp p90.dll. Accept. I said this. Okay. Anyway, but you need to go to the Blender folder where on where um, on your computer so that should be in your uh, program file look up blender foundation blender okay now let's just look for that um, file sorry okay so let's just look for it let me just click this one more time because I forgot which one it was execute okay vcomp p90 let's go ahead and look for it okay here it is vcomp uh, become 90 so set cancel so let's go ahead and put that one over here continue actually sorry let's see did that work no see it's better to copy them so that blender can still run so just go press copy and then paste it and then you just keep doing that until you have the files that it says you need to run and I think that was it so yeah and as you can see I press up it moves and down it goes and that's it and this is for Windows I don't know how you do it for Mac but um yeah it's, that's pretty much the, the gist of it so I hope you learned something off this and um, if you like my stuff subscribe to my page comment and rate this video if you liked it and I miss a friend if you need a friend so thanks for watching